Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little puzzle question last stone weight. So you are given an array of integer stones where stones i is the weight of the ice stone. And uh, uh, we are uh, playing the game with a stone. On each turn, we choose the heaviest two stones and uh, smash them together. Suppose that the uh, heaviest two stones have weights x and y, with uh, x is less than or equal y. The result of this smash is if um, x equal y and both stones are destroyed and uh, if x um, is not equal y the stone of weight x is destroyed and the stone of uh, weight y has new weight y minus x at the end of the game there is a uh, at most one stone left so return the uh, weight of the last remaining stone. If there is no stone left, return zero. So let's see the example. So you are given like a two, seven, four, one, eight, one. Output is one. Um, so there is a long explanation. So the, the first heaviest two stones uh, is a seven and one are uh, eight, and uh, smash together, and then uh, gets a uh, one because uh, um, they are not same, and. Uh, 8 minus 7 is 1. So uh, array convert to like a 2, 4, 1, 1, 1. Then next he uh, um, heaviest two stones should be uh, 2 and 4 and uh, smash them. And then uh, array convert to 2, 1, 1, 1. And then uh, next um, heaviest two stones should be uh, 2 and 1. And then get 1. So array convert to like 1, 1, 1. Then um, next heaviest two stone should be uh, one and one, and uh, they are same, so both stones are destroyed. So array convert to one, and uh, that's the value of the last stone, so that's why we should return one in this case. Okay, so uh, to solve this question, um, we use a max heap. So the reason why uh, we can use a max heap is that uh, uh, it's easy uh, to get uh, um, uh, the heaviest two stones. Uh, yeah, um, this input array is not sorted. So it's hard to take the heaviest two stones in the all values and then calculate and uh, uh, push back to the um, array in uh, input array again. So I think uh, uh, heap um, makes this question uh, easier. But um, so one problem is that um, so in Python, usually we use heap. Uh, that is a min heap. Uh, so how can we um, convert min heap to max heap? Actually, it's very simple. Uh, when we create a heap, all numbers um, uh, convert to uh, like a, a negative number. So in that case, uh, 274181. So, but uh, the value in heap should be like a minus 2, minus 7, minus 4, minus 1, minus 8, minus 1. So in that case, minus 8 is uh, like a smallest number and the minus seven is a second smallest number so in that case uh minus eight is located in the uh, root uh, root position uh, in the heap so we can uh, take the uh, the minus eight very easily then after taking eight so minus seven is a root position so also uh, we can uh, get uh, minus seven easily so yeah actually um that is a, a basic idea to solve this question so i'll show you how to uh, write a code okay so let's write the code uh, first of all um if length of stones equal one in that case we just return stones zero it's obvious and then first of all uh, we convert all numbers uh, to uh, like a negative values so stones equal so minus let's say s for s in stones 
and then um, after that um, create a heap so heap q dot heapify um, and then uh, passing the stones and then we can create a heap after that while length of stones is greater than one in that case um, we uh, we smash uh, two stones so okay let's say uh, stone one equal um, minus and the heap q dot heap pop uh, from stones so why uh, we multiply minus one uh, because uh, uh, stone data in stones uh, all um, all data in stones are negative so we need to convert to a positive number so that's why uh, we need to multiply uh, minus one and the uh, s1 is a uh, uh, heaviest stone and the next uh, second heaviest stone should be uh, okay, s2 equal same thing uh, minus um heap q dot heap pop heap pop and uh, stones after that if um s1 is not equal s2 in that case uh we need to uh, uh calculate the uh, like a s1 minus s2 and then um, push back to uh, stones heap so in that case heap q dot heap push and then stones and uh, minus um, stone one minus stone two right uh, it's easy then um, if s1 and equal s2 in that case uh, description said uh, if uh, like x equal y both stones are destroyed so that means we don't have to uh, push back the new weight to stone so we don't do anything and then after that just return minus stone stones zero if stone is left else zero i think that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be a uh, order of n log n because uh, we take a uh, um, stone uh, from the heap so that is a uh, log n because uh, after um, taking a uh, uh, one stone so that operation needs to maintain a heap uh, structure so i mean um restructure heap and then uh, maintain the like a heap properly so that is a log n operation and then um so we operate like n times and that means the uh, length of uh, stones so that's why uh, time complexity is uh, n log n and the space complexity should be a uh, order of uh, log n um, because uh, uh, we put uh, uh, length of stone so number of stone uh, into heap so that's why uh, order of uh, n space complexity so let me summarize step by step algorithm this is a step by step algorithm of last stone weight step one if number of stone is one then uh, return stones zero step two convert all values to negative values and uh, create a heap with the values and uh, start looping uh, take the heaviest two stones s1 and s2 from heap and uh, if s1 is not equal to s2 then calculate minus um, minus one multiply um, s1 minus s2 and uh, push back the result to heap step three if there is a stone then return um, minus stone zero if not return zero yeah that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well 
If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.